Welcome back to Kasuma Labs. Today we're going to test the ROG Separus Dual 16 using a durometer. Now, what is durometer? Well, durometer is used to test the hardness of particular materials, plastics, soft materials, things of that nature, rubber. And, um, well, we all know the top cover of the ROG Separus Dual 16 is made up of uh, some, some type of alloy. I know if it's a magnesium alloy, steel alloy, but nevertheless, it's made of metal. However, the bottom of it is made of a plastic. Now, I'm not certain if that's an ABS plastic or some other type of plastic. Nevertheless, I want to see the strength of it. Now, you may be saying, what's the? who cares how strong the bottom is? Well, it does matter, right? For example, if it falls, if it drops, it matters a big deal. Also, heat absorption. Now, some people might not realize this, but the thicker the plastic, right, the more heat that plastic will absorb. So that's also a factor as well. So we're going to use a durometer, measure the plastic, see how strong it is. So let's get started. So here at Consumer Labs, we have all type of testing equipment, you know, and we like to actually bring the products in and let them go through a full test, you know. So with that being said, the way this durometer works is very simple. There's a sharp pointy, pointy point here. You don't want to press this against yourself, of course. But what happens is when I take this device and I press it into the plastic, it's going to give me a reading here. The higher the number is, the stronger the plastic is, or I should say the harder the plastic is. So if this one here goes from zero to 100. So if you get 100, that means it's very hard. If it's less than 100, say it's only 20 or 30, then you know it's a softer plastic. All right, so let's begin. So as you can see, we have a hardness of 37.5. You may say, hold up. That's pretty low. Well, keep in mind, there are different shore scales, and this is a shore of D, shore D. So with that being said, 37.5 is hard. It's not medium hard. It's above medium hard. So it's pretty hard. Uh, think of it in terms of real-life situations, the bottom of a heel of a shoe. So it's not as hard like a hard hat. Obviously, it shouldn't be that hard because it's not like, you're looking for bricks or anything to fall on the bottom of your laptop. However, it can definitely uh, withstand any type of scratches, scuffle marks, things of that nature with no problem at all. So there it is, the ROG Sephiroth Dual 16. Uh, we're going to keep conducting various tests on this laptop. We need to see you know, what it can do, not just randomly just dropping a laptop on the floor and seeing if it will break, you know, stupidness like that. I mean, obviously it would break. Any laptop will break if you drop it. However, we trying to, we here at Consumer Labs, we use a more of a scientific approach to get us the most accurate reading and seeing what it actually can do rather than just randomly doing things. So with that being said, until next time.